some crushed red peppers on them and some parmesan cheese. Chivalry is dead. It might, it might be, it might be. 
it's just the way I was raised. I mean, I, I'm the type of guy that opens car doors and, you know, I, I pull out chairs and I, um, I pay for dinner and I do the, you know, when a, when a girl has to be excused to go to the bathroom, I do the halfway stand up out of your seat thing because, you know, there's a lady leaving the table to be excused. So all the men should stand up halfway, you know, to be a gentleman and then sit back down when she leaves. And then, you know, when she comes back, do the same thing, halfway stand up, sit back down. It's, you know, and a lot of girls like that shit when I'm like that. But I'm not doing it to, like, get in your panties and hook up with you and all this shit. I mean, that shit does work sometimes, no lie. But I'm doing it because that's how the fuck my parents raised me. It's not a matter of, like, oh, I want to impress this girl. No, fuck that. Like, like get to a different level, men, like, step, step it up, because, I mean, if, if, and if I don't do that stuff, my mom would smack the back of my head so hard, I have, I have to act that way around women, regardless if I'm, if I have interest in them, or it's an older lady, or a younger lady, or my teacher, or my family, whatever, like, you hold a car door for them, you pull out chairs, that's what, that's what men are supposed to do. like it's an agenda like no I've been doing this since I was like fucking seven years old I remember being a little kid and like pulling out chairs for like my classmates who were girls and stuff just cause my mom taught me that yeah. I mean oh my mom and my dad and guys it's not something that like my parents told me to be like I mean I was raised with them so actions speak louder than words how they act to this day I mean as far as I can remember my dad always bought my mom flowers every week he still does it to this day if he hears a cute song on the radio he grabs her at the store and like dances with her in the middle of the grocery store if she if my mom's washing the dishes my dad will like come from behind and hug her and be like girl what's your name and she'll you know she'll play along she'll be like boy you better stop before I tell my man like they're fucking gross they're fucking gross and I want that I want that type of relationship. It's just the way my family raised me. But it's all right, guys. It's all good. Uh, men of 2014, it's all good. Keep, act, keep, keep acting shitty. Because all you're doing is making me look better. <laughs> That's all you're doing. Keep treating women like shit. Keep not giving them attention. Because you know what? There's guys like me right behind them waiting to pick up the pieces. And there's nothing better than a vulnerable woman. <laughs> are really big slices. And the thing that kills me about men who act like that, it's it's been so often that men act like that nowadays that women are used to it. It's, it's kind of becoming the new norm for women. Like, women are used to being with guys that don't talk to them and don't do this, don't do that. It's fucking horrible. So, when a guy like me goes out on a date with him, girls fucking flip out. Like, oh my god, I can't believe you just did that. You 
seriously is just, oh my god, you brought me napkins. I've never had a guy bring me napkins ever before in my life. <laughs> like, I'm not even getting little shit like that. Like, it makes women just, when I open up a car door or, or I do this shit, oh my god, I've never had, it's like instant moist. smother you and be all about fuck that I need my own space there's nothing more sexier than a woman that wants your company but has her own shit going on I love that people men or women that smother somebody it's like yo get your own shit for real like real talk for reals with a Z <laughs> yeah that, I didn't finish this one okay I'm not gonna eat the whole thing Let me know what you